And I think gold is in play. A gold revaluation could be next. And I think this is the last time you'll be you'll be able to 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 buy gold equities at these depressed levels. And, and so the bottoming phase has been completed now. Uh, one uh, one could say so. A first bottom, 2016. Second bottom, March 2020. And now we have a third one. And and what we'll be witnessing now is the start of a very strong longer term bull market. Everything points to a perfect storm for commodities and people will be shocked by um, how strong that bull market will be. And that can take a decade or even longer. In his analysis of the current market conditions, financial expert Willem Middlecoop underscores a bullish outlook for gold and the broader commodities sector. Middel Coop points to a strategic move away from the dollar-based system, aligning with the insights of Credit Suisse strategist Zoltan Pozar, who introduces the concept of Bretton Woods 3.0. Pozar's thesis delves into the evolution of the modern dollar system. The impending BRICS meeting in Russia in October 2024 will require an expanded stage, reflective of the increasing multipolarity in the world. Middle powers are becoming more assertive in challenging the prevailing Western-led order. While Middle Coop predicts a notable shift from the dollar-based system, he does not anticipate a complete collapse. The Eastern European Central Bank has bought 71 tons between April and July. It is now 29 tons short of the 100-ton increase it announced it had targeted back in early 2021. The Central Bank of Turkey added 17 tons of gold to its reserves in July. Middle Coop offers a compelling perspective on gold revaluation as a potential recourse for central bankers grappling with challenges such as the bond crash and balance sheet discrepancies. According to him, this revaluation of gold could emerge as a crucial tool to safeguard the financial system's stability. Join us as we delve into insights shared by Willem Middlecoop. To stay updated with our latest uploads, be sure to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. Thank you. And, and if you listen to experts like Zoltan Pozar, who was uh, uh, this analyst with Credit Suisse, he, um, he he started his own shop now. He used to be with the Fed, and he wrote a great piece uh, just after the start of the Ukraine invasion. And he said, we're witnessing the birth of Bret Bretton Woods 3.0. We're witnessing the birth of a new monetary system coming from the East, centered around gold and commodities. And he's not a commodity guy, you know, he's just a generalist macro uh, analyst. But he pointed this out. So uh, it's, it's, it's a fight between the Western fiat paper-based, let's say, treasury system and the BRICS system who are working on a parallel trading and financial system, which is centered around gold and commodities. We shouldn't forget, you know, Russia, that, that country is full of commodities and China is doing all the arbitrage now. And they understand this. They, they understand how to play this. And Brazil understands this as well. And South Africa and all these countries in Latin America and Africa. And, and I think we're in for a very interesting ride, especially for, for commodity investors, because um, we'll see a move away from the dollar-based system. It's not a collapse of the dollar system. I don't expect a collapse of that. And commodities and gold will become more significant. And how do we know that? Well, look at what central bankers do. Don't listen to what they say. Just look what they do. Uh, there was record gold buying by central bankers in the last 12 months. We need to go back to 1969 uh, to see these record amount of, of gold buying by central bankers. And that was when the London gold pool collapsed just before uh, Nixon took the uh, closed down the gold window in 1971. So this is a very telling sign. And I think gold is in play. A gold revaluation could be next. And, and I think this is the last time you'll be, you'll be able to buy gold equities at these depressed levels. Poland is tripling its gold reserves. Hungary is increasing uh, gold reserves tenfold. You know, these are European countries, not big BRICS countries. Mm. Um, so when the money printers are starting to uh, buy physical gold, uh, there must be a reason. <laughs> um, and I think they understand, as I uh, clearly pointed out in the big reset, that gold revaluation is one of the last cards the central bankers can pull to save the system, to save the balance sheets. 
and look at the holes in the balance sheets of central banks because of the bond crash of last year, also this year. So they need to fix these holes in the balance sheet that they can use revaluation accounts. So a revaluation of gold helps all central banks in China, in the US, in Europe. And then we have, of course, the BRICS movement, which is very supportive, like I said, for gold and commodities. So from all these directions, uh, what, however I approach the market from fundam- fundamentals or technicals or the macro side or the geopolitical sides, it, it all points to higher commodity prices and higher precious metal prices. And, you know, markets are almost designed uh, to fool you, to punish you. <laughs> Uh, to make you crazy, and then they turn, and then one year later, you think, how could I have sold these shares at these low valuations? In Middle Coop's forecast, he envisions the commencement of an extended bull market that could span five or six months. Despite the ongoing military activities in the Middle East, gold has been on a downward trajectory since reaching its peak of $2,009 per ounce in late October. This decline is attributed to a prevailing risk-on sentiment in the markets. As long as this sentiment persists, gold faces challenges in gaining upward momentum. Analyzing the technical aspects, the current situation reflects a mixed picture. On one hand, there is an observable negative pattern characterized by short-term lower highs and lower lows. On the other hand, a positive element is evident in the favorable response from the 200-day simple moving average currently serving as a stabilizing factor for the precious metal. Middlecoop asserts that the gold miner's ETF, GDX, appears to have reached its bottom, suggesting a potential turning point. Furthermore, he means that gold is either near the bottom or has already got it, and silver displays early signs of strength. Let's get back to the interview. You remember January 2016, you know... We came at the end of a very long bear market and everybody was depressed and there was no liquidity in the market. And then January 16, there was a turn in the market without any news. You know, the market just turned and and then it started to run and run. And we've seen the same in March 2020 uh, during the COVID crisis. You know, it was March 16 and we started to buy that day. We were 10 percent in cash and that turned out to be the bottom. And then. The market started to run with five months back to back with double digit gains uh, for our funds. And, and, and that's what I expect now as well. You know, everything is so depressed. And I don't know whether the market will turn this week or next month or maybe Q1 next year. But I, I know the market will turn and probably sooner rather than later. Um, and, and, and then you'll see a very, very strong recovery because this is what always happens. You have low liquidity. There are always funds which need to sell because they have redemptions. Fortunately, we don't have redemptions. We still have net inflow. Um, we've had net inflow every year since our, our start. We're very fortunate for that. These funds who have redemptions, they need to sell and there are almost no bidders there. So it takes the whole market down. And once the market turns... And the sellers, the selling stops, and then you have everybody willing to buy shares on on the cheap again, and then you get these double digit gains. And if you look at the market from a technical perspective, Elliott Wave perspective, uh, the GDX seems to have reached the bottom already. Gold seems to be near a bottom or at the bottom, and, and silver um, is also showing some early strength. So I'm I'm not that negative. For me, 2016, those six great months, uh, was the very first start of a new bull market. Actually, it was the end of the bottoming of the whole commodity space. Gold Mm. was near $1,000. Then we had a retest of that bottom March 2020 during COVID crisis. And then we had another uptick, a very short-term uptick that took us five, six months higher. And so the bottoming phase has been completed now, uh, one uh, one could say. So the first bottom, 2016, second bottom, March 2020, and now we have a third one. And and what we'll be witnessing now is the start of a very strong longer-term bull market. So another bull market, which will take five or six months. And, and, and that bull market can be explained for fundamental and for technical reasons. Fundamental reasons, you have real shortages coming to the market. Then you have all these politicians, you know, uh, moving us into EVs and we all need to have EVs. And 
look at these cars. A Tesla has 100 kilos of copper. Traditional car has only 10. Look at the lithium space. We've done a lot of research. We need 70, over 70, 70 new lithium mines within 15 years. Uh, it can't be done. Uh, look at the statements of uh, insiders in the copper, the copper experts like Friedland or, or the Glencore CEO. They all say copper price should be much higher because there's a huge demand coming. And if you look at the production, production is starting to decline in several countries. Uh, Codelco in Chile is reporting uh, very weak production numbers. So we'll see production deficits. And then we have the dynamics between the East and the West, the BRICS against the, the West. And, and, and commodities and gold will be coming to play from a geopolitical point of view. And then you have the debasement of currency and, and inflation. So everything points to a perfect storm for commodities. And people will be shocked by um, how strong that bull market will be. And that can take a decade or even longer. How will the anticipated shift away from the dollar-based system, coupled with the potential revaluation of gold, shape the future trajectory of global markets and the financial system's stability? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If the video resonates with you, join our community by subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications with the bell icon. Thank you for being a part of our community.